Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and out the news in details. And says, Buhari take make just step to crush rising violence across Nigeria. In the wake of violence that has characterized the nationwide Ash Ensas protest, the presidency seems to have taken another vital and positive step in the right direction. President Muhammad Buhari on Tuesday, October 28th, had a closed-door meeting with key personalities in the leadership of Nigerian security hierarchy. The Nigerian leader had an all-important meeting with the Minister of Defense, Bashar Magashi, at the State House in Abuja, the nation reports. President Muhammad Buhari also invited the Chief of Defense Staff, General Gebre Oloni Shaki, to the meeting. Although the agenda of the meeting was not officially announced, Journalists believe that it is not connected with the discussions that will bring about the best measures to curb rising violence in the country. Meanwhile, former President Lucia Gombasanjo has stated that a nationwide protest by Nigerian youth is a product of diverse agitations demanding accountability and good governance in the country. Obasanjo made this known on Monday, October 19, during his courtesy visit to Oni of Ife, the former Nigerian leader said the protest is not only about police brutality, as many educated youth are frustrated due to lack of opportunities and jobs. He, however, urged the government of President Muhammad Buhari to explore the windows of opportunities created by the protest and demonstrate that the federal government cares about the welfare of the youth. Obasan Johu noted that over 65% of our population is under the age of 35, added that the president must show empathy as the father of the youth. Trust me, we don't even need the presidency to show empathy anymore. The presidency has done its worst. I'm telling you the truth. The presidency has done its worst by killing the innocent one. What else can he do again? He has done his worst. You know, the, the people that died on the spot, will they rise again? This protest, this peaceful protest has been on for almost, if not more than, for more than two weeks now. Has he ever, did he even come out to address the nation? And he called himself the president of Nigeria. He called himself the president of Nigeria, sucking innocent blood. All their leaders are sucking innocent blood. They have done their worst. They, are, they have done their worst by killing the innocent ones. The protests have started before now, and Nigeria, a whole president for that matter, waited, looking at them, the way they are protesting, and nothing is being done about it. And we said we have a leader. This is a useless government. This is a useless President Muhammad Buhari's administration. I'm telling you the truth. What else can they, can they do again? After killing the innocent ones? After making their parents to cry? What else again? They have been doing it. And they've been escaping it. And this time around, I don't think Nigerian youth will allow them to escape it this time around. I don't think they will allow them to escape this. Let them continue to do their worst. Let them continue to do it. Let them continue to kill the youth. Their days are not numbered. Their families will suffer for it. They will definitely suffer for all their evil agenda they have done to innocent people, to innocent blood. I'm telling you the truth. Azumi President Muhammad Buhari came up to address the nation and do the right thing, this protest will not be up to this. And I'm very sure that they didn't know that this protest would go to this extent. If they knew, they would have done something about it. So they keep looking, they keep watching the youth dying innocently. And they are happy about it. They are happy about it too. They have done their worst too. You can imagine, and they are now doing stupid meeting. They are doing unnecessary meeting. 
In fact, I wish the Nigerian youth can actually catch up with governor, Lagos State governor, and burn him alive. To know how to so that the family will know how how the innocent people are dying, the pains that their parents are experiencing. Because Nigeria is a doom. Now um, I can see that Nigeria will soon divide with the way things are going on. It is now clear, very, very clear, that Nigeria will soon divide. They will soon divide. Enough is enough of all these killings. Enough is enough of all these insecurity problems. Enough is enough. We are tired of all these wicked lifestyles that our, our present administration is living. We are all tired of it. Their families are there enjoying themselves. Their families are there traveling all around the world, going to schools abroad. And the youth are in Nigeria. The citizens that voted for them, suffering, crying for food to eat, begging for food to eat. And then they are enjoying themselves. And we say we have a good leadership. Our young ones are there begging for food to eat after going to school, having a first class degree certificate, still begging for food to eat. The government are there enjoying themselves with their family. God will punish all of them. It's high time. It's high time that the revolution must, must be achieved by all means. The revolution must be achieved by all means. This is getting too much. Let them keep doing their, 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 their wicked meetings. Let them keep doing it. They've done their worst by killing the innocent ones. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you if you're here to do so. Kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button. So that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. We appreciate you for always being there. We say thank you to you. Thank you very much for watching our video every time. We appreciate you. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you and me. Please kindly stay safe. Our life is so precious to us. Please stay safe. God bless you. Bye.